In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about how to sell pickleball paddles. In part one of this series, I will talk about developing a relationship with a pickleball paddle manufacturer to determine which company to represent. Hi, I'm Russell Ward, and I've sold over 150 pickleball paddles, and in the past, I've worked for a pickleball paddle manufacturer, one of the largest in the world. So, with my combined experiences, I'm going to share with you tips on how to quickly and easily sell pickleball paddles. It is my theory that uh, close to 70% of players are either playing with the wrong paddle or they're playing with a paddle that needs to be replaced. So there's a wide open market for you no matter where you live. So to determine which company to represent, first look at what local players are representing pickleball paddle manufacturers in your area and don't represent them. In turn, find a com a companies, one or two, narrow it down and interview those companies. Determine which, one, which company you think you're most compatible with and that you want to represent. Get their introductory kit and then once you've narrowed it down to one company, then uh, sign their dealer's agreement and you're ready to go. So the next step to that is determining uh, what we would call an opening inventory. What, what array of paddles should you, should you buy initially? Uh, that can be a little overwhelming because there are some paddle manufacturers that have 10, 15, 20 different paddles. So where do you start? Well, the best way to start is keep it simple. Only have one, two, or three of the paddles and the manufacturer's lineup initially. So go to them and ask them what their best sellers are. In my case, I re represent Temper. And Temper has a GXT, it's called a Temper Tantrum GXT, their best selling paddle. So I carry that in my lineup. The other paddle that I carry in my lineup is the Temper Tantrum V paddle. And I have done remarkably well just having these two paddles to, available for players to sell. So the next question is, is about the weight. How do you determine what weight to bring in on paddles? Well, women generally like a, a, a lighter paddle and men like a paddle that's usually a heavier paddle between 7.7 .7 and 8.2. So make sure that you're, you're in your best sellers that you have something that has a little different uh, weight uh, classifications. And the, the other one is, is that the other uh, dynamic is about color. Women have a tendency to gravitate towards the pinks, the blues, and men have a tendency to gravitate towards like the oranges and reds. So with my Temper GXT paddle here, you'll notice that they have just the two colors. Perfect. I, I, I sell so many and they own, and just in the two colors, it's been amazing. Then the Tantrum V has five different colors. So I asked the manufacturer to narrow it down to the top three colors, and those are the colors that I currently carry. Most players don't, don't realize that there are maybe other colors or other paddles, uh, but they don't need to know that. They just need to know what you have and what you have available for them. So make sure that you have a demo of each paddle so that the players can hit with them to see which paddle they're most compatible with. Don't allow players to hit with your brand new paddle that you just got because that devalues the paddle and you can't sell it for full price. Also create a business card. Uh, oftentimes the manufacturer will have a business card that you can put in your information and but it's important to be able to hand out your contact information to the players. Uh, I can't understate that. So the other part of the dynamic is, is what kind of sales goals should you have? Uh, I try to sell one to two paddles per week. That is predicated on going to a set of courts, indoors or outdoors, where there's a minimum of 16 players. Uh, what I try to do to, to, to do a, a wider reach is I actually go to different places around surrounding where I live and uh, so I've been in touch with uh, well over 100 players. Uh, you're going to sell most of your paddles for uh, recreate to recreational players between that are 2.5 and 4.0. Uh, 
Uh, as you get more advanced, the 4.5 and up, they generally already have a paddle in place that they're very comfortable with and not interested in being sold. So I'm an advanced player, so I always go out to where all the recreational players hit with them and enjoy their company and sell them a paddle that, uh, uh, that's the best fit for them. So, so your first step in this part one of this series is to pick out which manufacturer to reach out to. Uh, narrow it down to one manufacturer and begin to represent their paddles. You've seen that you can just have a very simple opening inventory and from there you can expand that as you get to know your players wants and needs in your local area. So thank you for watching. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about the nuts and bolts of selling pickleball.